This video will help you to learn how to discover vCenter server in App Manager. Virtualization is the foundation for modern IT. It has made a huge impact in the way organizations look at IT as a business. It has helped organizations reduce data center space, cost, maintenance, manpower, and infrastructure resources, thereby making IT infrastructure more efficient and profitable. Over the past few years, we have seen that many of our customers moved towards virtualization. The slide shown on the screen highlights the prerequisite to discover a vCenter server. Keep the access information of vCenter server handy before the discovery. Provide the local user or administrator account for vCenter service hosted on a Windows server. Or provide the root user account in case your vCenter appliance hosted on a Linux server. Although credentials for virtual machines are not mandatory, we advise you to add them because in addition to VM performance metrics, it also helps you monitor key performance metrics via different protocols such as WMI, Telnet, SSH or SNMP. Provide the domain administrator account for Windows platform, Telnet or SSH user account for the Linux platform or the SNMP community stream. For example, let me connect to the vSphere client. Ensure to use the same HTTPS account while adding credentials for vCenter server. In a couple of seconds, I will show how to configure these credentials in App Manager. Click on Settings, Discovery, Credentials, Add Credential. Firstly, let me create a credential for vCenter server. In my example, the vCenter service is hosted on a Windows server and I'm providing the administrator account. Secondly, I will add the VM SNMP credential. Next, VM WMI credential. and VM CLI credential. Finally, all the prerequisites have been met and we are all set to discover the vCenter device. Click on add VMware, provide the device name or IP address, select the required credentials and click OK to add the device. This will take a couple of minutes to complete the discovery process and it depends upon the number of virtual hosts and virtual machines associated with the vCenter server. Once when the device is successfully discovered, it will automatically take you to the vCenter device page. Let me also show how to get to the vCenter page. Click on inventory icon, monitoring, virtualization and select vCenter from the left hand side and click on the respective device. We are currently seeing the vCenter snapshot page. The server has got two data centers, two hosts, 10 VMs, and a total of two data stores. We can also see that two clusters are created for load balancing. Also, Find the resource data for CPU and memory on the associated hosts as well as on the guest VMs. Let me select an ASX host and show how the host page looks like and what data it supplies on the dashboard. We can see 5 guest VMs got associated with this host. It also supplies the data of the connected NICs and storage adapters. Click on monitors to check the VM performance metrics of the respective host. Also check out the graph views of all these performance metrics. Let me also select one of the guest VMs and show how the VM page looks like.
click on monitors to check the VM performance metrics of the respective guest VM. Also, check out the graph views of all these performance metrics. Thank you. Please subscribe to Op Manager Tech videos for more help.